I would like to invite M.A. Basir sir to address us. Sir, please come on the stage. Honorable Founder Director of this uh, esteemed institution, respected uh, Faradapa, Principal Madam and uh, complete teaching, non-teaching staff, respected parents and dear students. Assalamu alaikum. First, I congratulate all the faculty members and uh, you, the students of this school who have organized this science exhibition on the occasion of National Science Day. And the theme is Quran and Science. Really, it is highly appreciable and I pray Almighty Allah to accept such efforts by the authorities and through the students not only for the success of all of us here and hereafter but this should be the initiative for contributing the mankind. Dear students, just I was uh, witnessing here the recitation of Holy Quran followed by Naad and Dua. And all we have to observe inspect your presentations for your models for your posters for this you might have taken some efforts you are studying second third fourth level where science basic concepts you are studying what is the science science simply That subject where you observe not only the concepts but in the nature what the creator has created. Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has created this universe, in this universe you observe the cosmos you observe the plants, animals, different types, human beings and such creation you witness, you realize the purpose of creation. But most unfortunately what we observe in day to day life, we learn the subject, science, and we do not correlate it with our Quranic teachings, what Quran says. In today's world, the disconnection between the Quranic knowledge, which is the origin of science, I appreciate the authorities of this school for their initiative, such initiative and I congr congratulate them and pray such efforts may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept. This is the start where you have to think. What you have to think? You have to think any scientific aspect, any scientific knowledge, any scientific value and any scientific attitude. You have to learn, you have to develop, you have to inculcate them in your day-to-day -day life, in your thinking. And you have to 
implement in your daily life in your practical life not only for yourself but for the welfare of humanity for which the quran has revealed you might have prepared the projects now hereafter it is my request to all of you to read the quran not only read the quran but try to learn the quran not only try to learn the quran but we have to think or the message of quran the instructions of quran ahadith and we have to apply them scientifically and what the challenges this humanity is facing today it is only due to the disconnection between the scientific knowledge and quranic values we have to being muslim we have to try to connect that values you might know the nobel nobel award which is being awarded in the memory of alfred nobel what he has invented dear students you might be knowing nobel alfred nobel has invented dynamite dynamite ka use kya hai डायनामिट कहाँ यूज होता है कोई बता सकता है एक्सप्लोजन के लिए टू एक्सप्लोड अल्फ्रेड नोबेल ने डायनामिट का इन्वेस्टमेंट जो किया है वो एक्सप्लोजन इट वाज नॉट फॉर द किलिंग ऑफ मैनकाइंड किलिंग ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली नाव इट इज द हाइड्रोजन बॉम्ब न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब वॉट एवर द वीपन्स आर देयर they are not used for the welfare of humanity they are used for killing the humanity now a day we learn science we become scientist we become doctors we become technocrats engineers but most unfortunately today the renowned scientist the renowned chemist the renowned medical professionals technocrats they are not following the ethics ethical values moral values right from morning early morning and during the sleep also in every second in every minute we use the different inventions of science un unlimited inventions unlimited discoveries of science we use you can mention as the assignments as the project works the different inventions that may be for the treatment of diseases that may be in day to day life either in the form of our mobile phones or our lcd led screens panels whatever the sound systems we use whatever automobiles we use all that are manufactured or developed that technology is having the basics from scientific discoveries in last 60 70 years which we use as the scientific age scientific revolution which has created in industrial revolution then it was the it revolution then it is the information age and now you are living in the digital age at your fingertips you can have the knowledge you can have the information you are most fortunate but at the same moment if you observe the contribution of our muslims in the development of such scientific discoveries knowledge most unfortunately our contribution is very 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 minimum we are just using the these the benefits of science the benefits of such discoveries we are the users only but our role as per the quran is you are being created not to follow not to follow the others but you should be the leaders 
you should contribute you should give the light to the humanity who is facing n number of challenges what are the challenges of today present challenges in environment sector it is the great challenge it is total imbalance every day new diseases are being observed they are making the much harm to the humanity in such challenges where there is the energy crisis where there is the environmental challenges where there is a challenge to life and to make the comfortable life it is our duty it is our responsibility responsibility being the muslim as you are studying at 5th 6th 7th standard here you should plan to study sincerely honesty and as you will pass your 10th grade of schooling you should develop your personalities in the scientific scientific way with the foundation with the strong foundation of quranic origin islamic values although it is the event today which is being organized here but my advice to all of you is consider this is as the start of your thinking it should be the starting point of your thinking towards whatever you observe in day to day life you should think it you should observe it you should analyze it and if any challenge you follow you observe you should think for its solution try to do at your utmost level with consistency to succeed do the best you can and whatever your talents you have try to improve your talents try to improve your knowledge try to improve your performance i pray allah subhanahu wa taala for your bright success i am very much thankful to the organizers for inviting me to witness your performance may allah subhanahu wa taala accept your efforts ameen jazakallah khair